One of the many, many reasons to learn lots of programming languages is so that we know what we're missing outside of the language that we usually work in. And if we know what we're missing, then uh, we can demand better or maybe even be part of creating something better in the languages that we usually work in. So uh, towards that end, I want to show you a tiny bit of Smalltalk. I'm using the Faro uh, Smalltalk environment. So first off, I'm going to open up a browser. And I think I want to make a new package uh, to put my code in. We'll just call it stuff. Now, I like to start with tests, so let's tell the test case class. Let's tell this class to subclass itself. We create a new subclass called shouter tests, because I'm going to test out, test drive a class called shouter. Gonna accept that. Now this exists. Now we need a test case, so we'll call it uh, test shout. And we're just going to get rid of the comment for now. Don't need any of this stuff, actually. So let's see. To test this thing out, I guess we're going to need one of them. So let's say um, shouter. Is a new shouter object. So this is how we tell a class to instantiate a new instance of itself. Uh oh, unknown variable. Shouter, please correct or cancel. Uh, well, that's because we're test driving and uh, we don't have such a thing yet. But uh, look at that. Smalltalk is offering to create one for us. So, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Object subclass shouter. Sounds good. Uh, don't think we're going to need any instance variables or anything. Uh, fine. Great. So, unknown variable shouter. Uh, new temporary variable. Yeah, let's make it a temporary variable. There we go. Uh, I should have put that in there, but uh, I didn't because I'm still pretty new to small, to small talk. So there we go. There's our test case. Uh, of course, we need to be able to run test cases. Fortunately, there's a test runner right here. And uh, don't want to run every single thing in the world. Let's just run the shouter tests. So run selected. And it is green, which I guess isn't that surprising because that class exists now. I guess we should probably test something more interesting. So let's tell the shouter to shout and we'll give it a string hello world. We put a period on the end. That's small talk for we're done with this statement. Didn't I mention that I'm new to small talk? I forgot to put the colon there. All right, let's save that. And uh, now if we run selected, oh hey, red. So what's the problem here? Well, here's the thing that failed. And when we click on that, what does Smalltalk do? It actually tries to run it again, but this time uh, it pops up a debugger window. So what's the problem? Shouter object does not understand. See, does not understand. The uh, shout method, which is not surprising because that method doesn't exist yet. Now we see a bunch of buttons along the bottom of here that, that many of them you're probably used to from debuggers, but there's also a button here that you might not be used to. It's the create button. <clears throat> Hit that button and Smalltalk says, where would you like to define this method that I couldn't find? Well, I think the shouter class is a good place for that. And uh, we'll leave it as yet unclassified. And uh, look at this. Now we've got this new method right here in the debugger. We've got a new definition of shout. And right now it's just kind of a placeholder definition because it isn't actually smart enough to read our minds. For the purposes of just getting one step further, let's tell this to return, which is the caret, the argument that it received. And we'll accept that. All right, what do we actually want this class to do? Well, what I'm thinking is that when we send the shout message along with a string, it should return that string uppercased and with a bang on the end. So let's turn this line into an assertion that that's what happens. We will send a message to self. Remember, self is the test case here. We'll say self assert. What do we want to assert? Well, we want to assert that the result of this message send is a string that looks like that. We'll accept this. And we'll run our tests. And we have a failure. 
And if we want to, we can inspect the actual result here, which is just the string hello world. So how do we actually make this do what we want to do? Well, well, first of all, I want to uppercase this string. And I know in, in Ruby I would use upcase, but this is Smalltalk. So how do we say that in Smalltalk? Well, let's ask Smalltalk. I'm going to open up the finder. And I'm going to switch it to a mode uh, where we find things by example. Dear Smalltalk, supposing I had a string like hello world and I wanted to end up with a string like uppercase hello world. What message would I send? Oh, here we go. I would send the as uppercase message. Thank you, small talk. So I'll go back to my browser and I'll punch up the definition of shouter and I'll change this to return a string as uppercase. So when I run the test now, and I take a look at what this is returning, I can see that it's uppercase, but it doesn't have an exclamation point on the end. Now again, I know how to do this in Ruby, but how do I do it in Smalltalk? Well, let's ask Smalltalk again. Let's see, given a string foo, another string bar, what would give me foo bar? And switch this over to examples mode, foo comma bar. So what Smalltalk is telling me is that I need to use the comma operator, which is a little weird compared to other languages I've worked with, but hey, we're learning a new thing here. All right, so let's go back to our code and we'll say comma and the bang, and we'll accept that, and we'll run our tests, and now we have green. All right, so there you go. Now you've seen a little bit of small talk, and now you hate your Ruby development environment. Have a nice day.